All right, chat, let's talk about the companions in the game. So we're looking at some stuff on some fandom type wikis. And uh, this is information that's out there. There's no spoilers, there's no leaks um, allowed on the site. So this is all stuff that you can just find out from watching Starfield Direct, other uh, Bethesda interviews, and uh, their official tweets and behind the scenes docs, etc. So those are some of the characters we just talked about, some of the main ones. Let's start with Barrett, right? He's a I believe he's the first one mentioned in the timeline, and then it goes Sarah and Sam. Um no, those are the only ones they have on here. So yeah, let's start with Barrett. We'll resize if necessary. All right, here we go, chat. Breaking down, let's take a closer look at Barrett. Barrett is an adventurer, scientist, and explorer, member of Constellation since 2305. He has the following skills. Uh, Starship engineer, particle beam weapon systems, robotics, and gastronomy. He's a member of the United Colonies and Constellation, voice acted by Barry Wiggins. Um, I don't know a lot of voice actor names other than some of the more, more famous ones, so if that's one I should know, let me know, chat. Don't recognize it, but that doesn't mean I don't know the voice. Uh, human male. Okay, the wiki's putting species in here. That's interesting. Because as far as we know, there's no other species in the world that's sentient. In the world of Starfield. Uh, there's not really a biography on him yet. Uh, if we go to the Say Hi to Bear Twitter. Let's watch this real quick. I can't full screen it? Cool. Oh, it's just a gift. Okay. Well, it doesn't really tell us anything about them anyway, does it? Alright, so there's a little bit about Barrett. We don't have a last name. All right. We, we, all, we know that they're in Constellation, that they're the person who um, refound the um, quote-unquote artifact. And my ad blocker didn't pick up that ad, did it? Moving on then, who's next? Sarah Morgan, she was the next person to join Constellation that we know about. Okay. Sarah Morgan is the acting chair of Constellation, the last group of space explorers. Prior to Constellation, she was a soldier and adventurer. She can be part of the player crew to help finding a mysterious artifact. So has the following skills, astrodynamics, lasers, leadership, and botany. So it looks like every companion character is going to start with a 4, a 3, a 2, and a 1. So 4 skills at 4 different ranks. Pretty cool. Um, where, I think the ad blocker just blocked the wrong thing. Anyway, um, oh dear god. Oh, we're turning it back on. Unpause. <laughs> Alright, she's a member of the United Colonies and Constellation, same as Barrett, and voice acted by Emily O'Brien, which sounds familiar, but again, I can't think of who that is. So let me know, chat, if we know more about this voice actor. What do you think of this skill set? Astrodynamics. Lasers, leadership, and botany. She served in the United Colonies military in 2319. She was promoted to head of the UC Navigator Corps. But this was short lived as Navigator Corps was shuttered in 2320. She moved on and joined Constellation. In 2325, she became the acting chair of Constellation. In 2326, she personally recruited 
the scientist Noel into the group. Let's go and click this. Let's see what we know about Noel. We'll go right to them since it's referenced in this article. And yeah, that looks like everything we have about Sarah Morgan thus far. Let's see what the year currently is 2330. So she was really young 11 years ago, but has a lot of experience in the Navigator Corps and Constellation since, since uh, or up to this point rather, I should say. Okay. We're going to Noel, the newest member of Constellation uh, that we've read about at least. It's a graduate student and gifted scientist in Constellation. She's a protege of Sarah Morgan and joined Constellation at her invitation 2326. We don't know her stats or if she's recruitable yet, if they are. Oh, no, she. There we go. Uh, Asteroid City. I forgot I wanted to watch that. You know what? Um, we're going to take a quick detour. We've been talking about some of the people in Constellation. Um, hello. Welcome, Lee. I like the glitch cat. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Let's go talk. Let's read about Constellation itself. Um, these are the people in it. Here's the article about the group. For those who don't know, right? What is Constellation? We're talking about it a lot. All these people are members of Constellation. That's one of the main factions, maybe the main faction, as far as I understand it, in Starfield. So let's see what there is to know about it that we might not already know. It is an organization in Starfield committed to unlocking the mysteries of the galaxy. It's a legendary space exploration organization based in the Lodge in New Atlantis. It was founded in 2275 by Sebastian Banks. By 2330, as the drive um, as the drive to explore the galaxy disappeared. Where'd it go? Okay, let's pause the ad blocker again. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. All right, where were we? Let's start out. Constellation is a legendary space exploration organization based in the Lodge in New Atlantis. It was founded in 2275 by Sebastian Banks. By 2330, as the drive to expand the galaxy at Wayne Constellation had become a shadow of its former glory. And few among the public were aware that it was still active. It was known as the last group of space explorers. Okay, so well, the ad blocker didn't do that. Just the ad pop-ups themselves did. <laughs> even worse the sites destroying its own information they were known as the last group of space explorers constellation is dedicated to answering the question of what's out there in 2310 constellation obtained an alien artifact which was stored in the organization's archives bear uncovered the artifact in 2326 i don't know why i said that that way and recognized that it was something special the quest to find more artifacts and investigate their origins became the group's new focus. A couple years later, Barrett convinced Constellation to purchase Star Station L868 and modify it into a deep space scanner known as the Eye. Or I knew we just read that, right? Um, and then current year, start of game year, in 2330, after the space rare comes into contact with Nora. Oh, now we're getting into the sort of spoilers. Um, I'm going to leave that on the screen. You all can read it. I think this is all information we learned at, you know, the first five minute type things at the Starfield Direct, etc. But, moving on. Uh, founding Generation, Sebastian Banks, founder, Chloe Bayo, physicist, Asia Mamasa, Sebastian Proje, Darius, Andrews, botanist, and specialist in Xenoflora, Bernadette Laurent, Wealthy heiress and adventurer, Evardo Gill, former smuggler and Kadri Toma biologist and physician. Current members, Sarah Morgan, 
leader, ex-soldier, and adventurer. Andrea, we'll read about them soon. Barrett, an explorer. Cora Co, daughter of Sam Co. Uh, Matteo Catri, a theologian. Noel, we were just reading about Sam Co, the former Free Star Ranger, descendant of Aquila City founder Solomon Co. Um, not listed here. Uh, us, the spacefarer, the player character. Vasco, the robot, quite possibly everyone's the fan favorite companion before the launch. Vladimir Sal, an ex Crimson Fleet pirate. And Walter Stroud, financier, co owner of Stroud Eklund. We'll look into some of these organizations also, chat, as we get to them. Um, let's go with Sam and Cora Co. next. Let me rearrange these a little bit. Alright, who is Sam Co.? Sam Co. is a member of Constellation. He is descendant of Kilo City, former Free Star Ranger. He and his daughter Cora joined Constellation three years ago from the in game start with the following skills. Expert pilot, good rifleman, and has bonus um, hauling capacity, and uh, is good at geology. He's a member of the Freestar Collective Constellation, Freestar Rangers, former, voiced by Elias uh, Tufexis. He's, he's a space cowboy, right? I'm not going to have any more info about him at this time, according to this wiki. Now, we might be looking at some other wikis and stuff today, chat, but I think for now we're just going to focus on this one wiki. If you have additional information about any of these characters, it's spoiler free, as in it's available out there to be read without uh, leaks. Feel free to let us know. If you have any other comments about any of these characters, feel free to let us know who your favorites are. Who sounds cool, who seems the most interesting, etc. Alright, Corico, daughter of Sam. Corico, 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 fun to say. Fun to say, Corico. She and her father both joined in 2327. We don't have any info about her stats. She's Free Star Collective Constellation member. With no biography written here as of yet. All right, um, let's take a look at Walter Stroud. That seemed like an interesting one. Let's see if what we know, if anything about Walter Stroud. Co-owner of ship manufacturer Stroud Eklund. In 2321, he joined Constellation and became its primary financier. Um, we don't have much bio about them. They're a member of the United Colonies, Constellation, Stroud Eklund um, affiliations. And that's what they look like. Walter Stroud, all right. Um, all right, let's go next to Vladimir Sal, ex Crimson Fleet pirate who joined Constellation. All right, uh, let's detour real quick. Who is the Crimson Fleet? It's a faction in Starfield headquarters, is the key. Former United Colony space station located in the Crick system. Anyone displaying that symbol is assumed to be associated with the Crimson Fleet and can be terminated at will. UC Fleet Admiral Pasquale Logan. Ooh, scary. Scary. There are a pirate armada based out of the Key Cricks and Cricks, Lunara, and Sagan. The Crimson Fleet is not a single organized entity, but a loose confederation of individual pirate captains all organized under the same banner. For years, the Crimson Fleet was considered a localized problem for the Free Star Collective. But in 2330, the start time, the start time for the game, uh, the pirates expanded far beyond the Crick system and established new footholds in Sagan, Cheyenne, Lunara, and Narian. This caused the United Colonies to officially recognize Crimson Fleet as a growing threat and commit to eliminating it. So they got put on the terrorist watch list. 
or they got moved up to the yeah anyway members of the crimson fleet can be identified by their use of the jolly roger which was adopted as its emblem members can also never leave once they have joined death is the only way out typical thieves guild pirate gang type stuff but somehow vladimir sal left without dying or did they i don't know no, we don't have any real background on them yet. Let me refresh this. Right. Crimson Fleet Constellation. Yeah. Sounds good. What about Andrea? Remember Constellation who joined in 2328, one of the newer mm, entries. Voiced by Sissy Jones. Um, wasn't there... I guess no one's updated it yet. There was a tweet just recently. Let me bring that up. Uh, let's go to Starfield Twitter. I wasn't going to do these, but let me open this up. Andrea, that's the newest one they did. Samco, there's really no new info here, but there's some different screenshots. Ferret, Sarah. There we go. Alright, so let's see, here's Andrea, that's who we're currently talking about. Introducing Andrea, Constellation's newest recruit hailing from the farthest reaches of the settled systems. It's a bit of a mystery to everyone. Nobody knows where she's coming from and where she's going. Voiced by Sissy Jones. Here's some images. Um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. That's my bad. Beneath Andrea's seemingly cold demeanor, there is an air of mystery. Her proficiency, proficiency in clandestine operations certainly raises some questions regarding her past endeavors. It's a cool print on this leather um, looking, whatever you call it. While her efficiency in the field is undeniable, Andrea can be fiercely independent to a fault. Vlad, an outsider himself, has been her greatest ally in helping her embrace this new UC way of life. Um, let's take another look at Sam Kobe, where I kind of talked about Sam. He has a strong sense of frontier justice, believes that if helping someone means breaking the rules, so be it. Voiced by Elias Tufexis, as we already stated. What is this on their hat? I wonder. Some kind of scanner? Starstruck. When Sam was just a teenager, he stole a small ship and took it on a joyride into space. One look into the vast expanse and he was hooked. You can just, you can just hijack a ship without formal training. They're that easy to fly. Anyway, from that day forward, he vowed to live life among the stars. Righteous rebel. He's got some kind of like shark tooth on his neck. Although Sam is a descendant of Solomon Co., founder of the Free Star Collective and Legendary Explorer, you never know. He's a champion for the little guy and prefers life on the fringes of society. And here's Barrett talked about Barrett a little bit already. One of the first members of Constellation that you'll encounter is deep fascination with the universe as fuel travels all over the galaxy and in pursuit of knowledge and new experience. Voiced by Barry Wiggins. Here's Barrett. Scientific method. Before joining Constellation, Barrett was a UC physicist. But life in a government lab didn't suit him. He uses his scientific knowledge as a tool to explore the universe and learn in the field. The man of action is an adventurer through and through. The discovery of the artifacts 
raises new existential questions, and he is eager to get out there and find the answers. One more of these Twitter bios that Bethesda's put out. Sarah Morgan, the fierce leader of Constellation, passionate about Constellation's mission, leading through action, and earning the trust and respect of her peers. Voiced by Emily O'Brien. Here is the chair, Sarah Morgan. Great name. Invisible Wounds. Sarah is a veteran of the Colony War. While she was only a navigator, her ship saw significant combat. The trauma she experienced in battle is something she carries with her to this day. A new leaf. After the war, Sarah devoted her life to exploration, searching the galaxy for new worlds and new wonders to uncover. At Constellation, she found purpose, direction, and a family to share them with. Sounds cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. Throw this back over here. Thanks again for the likes, reposts, tweets, retweets, skeets, and re skeets if you're on Blue Sky. <laughs> uh, Alright, one second chat. We'll look at the next character. Uh, we already looked at Andrea. Let's move on to Matteo Catri, a theologian who joined Constellation 2325. We don't know which religion yet. Um, there's no symbol on his shirt. He views the artifacts as evidence of intelligent life other than humanity. So again, more there's pretty heavy implications early on in the game here. That, or prior to the game's launch. That there might be sentient life out there. We just haven't found it yet. We've been to Alpha Centauri and beyond. But we haven't found any sentient aliens at this moment. Maybe they're not out there. Maybe they are. Alright. And then here we go. Everybody's potential favorite. Vasco. An expeditionary robot. Companion owned by Constellation, created by Lunar Robotics. Fasco is a util utilitarian, heavy industrial machine designed by Lunar Robotics, well suited for the rigors of space travel. Constellation took the early model and refurbished it to meet the requirements of their mission. Fasco wears the white and red livery of Constellation, has many years in the field, which has worn down his paint indented a few panels. Vasco's design is based on a standard type A bipedal chassis. He is capable of traversing rough terrain with all the survival gear and payload capacity needed for extended overland journeys. It can carry your loot. Um, Vasco does have defensive capabilities but his primary role is peaceful. His name is a reference to a Portuguese explorer, Vasco da Gama. In the cinematic trailer, Vasco's admonished via crew member Sprawl for not procuring a batch of tranquility. Tranquility? This is a reference to Tranquility Base. Alright, chat. I think, honestly, good characters. Oh, you know what? There's one more we haven't really read about here today. Some people from the uh, videos that have been put out. I don't know if they're in the game. Uh, let's see, his crewmates. Okay, we got a couple potential crewmates here that we hadn't learned about first of all, or prior to this, I should say. Category for NPC characters, uh, space worker can hire to help crew the ship run their NPC. Contrast crewmates require payment for their services. Okay, so these are not your typical companions in the way that the others that we've already broken down. Alright, so first of all, you have the adoring fan who's available 
to the player character if you choose a certain trait. I was reading that. Scavenging, concealment, weightlifting. Um, reference to the Dorian fam from Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Voiced by Craig Seckler, which is the same person who uh, voiced them in Oblivion. It shares physical resemblance. They have a similar exclamation, but instead of by zero, by zero, by zero, it's by Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera. Um, yeah, and you get them by basically picking them as one of the background traits. Alright, let's uh, close this. Let's take a look at Heller. Argos, um, Argos Extractor's employee and crewmate for hire. So I don't really know much about him other than it's one of the possible crewmates you can hire. Why is my earbud being this way? There we go. Uh, they get geology and outpost engineering rank three. So they're good at helping you build your outposts. And then there is America Boros. Crewmate who can be hired at the viewport in New Atlantis. Um, they're better at shotguns, ballistics, and so this is more of a uh, combat companion than the previous one. Ballistics, particle beams, weapon systems. Very cool, very cool. Um, and I think chat that might pretty well cover all the characters, crewmates that we have any real information on at this point. Um, and a little bit into some of the factions, the timeline of the game. Yeah, that's everybody. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a plan. Tomorrow, we're going to take a closer look at some of the planets and the factions, even closer than we did today. We'll learn about Earth, Jemison, Mars, Crete, Gagarin, all of us, Nira, Chala, and more. All right? Look at all these planets we can read up on. Um, some will have more info than others. So that'll be what we do tomorrow. Make sure you tune in for that. Tune in to our next video. Um, but I think that's going to do it for our Starfield portion of the stream today, 